First of all, in the normal state, when you open the safety lock, we will find that the indicator light here is on, and at the same time, on the screen the safety lock status is also on. The lights will go off as we shut down. When turn the switch on, lights are not responding, and screen does not show it. The cause of the failure may be this location, or the motherboard. Then the first step, find a wire. Short circuit the motherboard with a wire. Find the signal interface number 5 and number 6. Connect directly to the safety lock here. If the light comes on after connecting, this means the motherboard is not damaged. Otherwise, the motherboard is damaged. The next step is to check the external wiring. Focus on this location. Next we take it apart. Locate the hex socket. After unscrewing, take it off. Then take off this cover. All fixing screws need to be unscrewed. Next remove it. Unscrew the two set screws. Lift it vertically. Then we can look at its structure. The switch rotation is controlled by this spring. Is now closed. You can see how it works. Twist switch. Spring turn connection. So use a wire to directly connect the switch. If the light is on, that's the fault of the switch. Adjust the position of the spring. Let's toggle it. Put it back. If there is no response after adjusting, replace with a new spring. 